In this tutorial, I'll show you how easy it is to add and manage a blog. WebPlus provides a range of interactive and dynamic objects known as smart objects. These are available from Serif Web Resources, an online service that hosts the objects and stores the information they collect on secure server space. Smart objects include hit counters, blogs, forums and so on. To add these to your site, you'll need to set up a Serif Web Resources account. For details, see the WebPlus Online help. I've already created a page for my blog, so now on the Web Objects toolbar, I click the Smart Objects tool and log into Serif Web Resources. In the Smart Objects dialog, I click New. The Create Smart Object dialog lists all of the smart object types available. I'll select blog and I'll accept the default language option. In this next dialog, I use the styles pane to name my blog and adjust its appearance. For example, I can change the color and font of my title and body text, change the border color and thickness and so on. Notice that the preview pane updates as I make these changes. I can also set the time zone for my blog. Below the preview pane, you'll see a range of advanced options. You can find out more about these in the Blogs and Shout Boxes tutorial, available in PDF format from the WebPlus Learning Zone. OK, I'm happy with the way my blog looks, so I'll click Create to add the blog to my Smart Objects library. To add the blog to my page, I make sure it's selected in the library and click Insert. Now I just click and drag on my page to set the size of my blog. Once placed, you can resize and move your Smart Objects, just as you would with any other page element. OK, let's add an article to the blog. To do this, Click the Smart Objects tool or right click on the blog and click Manage Smart Objects. In the Smart Objects library, select the blog and click Manage. The Manage Blog dialog lets you add new articles, edit and delete existing articles, and manage comments posted by blog users. The Editors group drop down list lets you choose whether to create, edit and manage articles yourself or allow others to also do so. For the latter, you need to create an editor's user group by using an access control smart object and then select this group from the drop down list. For details, see online help or the access control tutorial. To add an article, I click new and now type a title for my article here and type the article content in the main window. To format my text, I can use these toolbar controls. I can also add tag keywords to categorize the article and allow blog users to search for similar articles of interest. For a list of suggested tags, click the Suggest link. Selecting the Allow Trackbacks option lets other web users include references and links to your blog articles on their websites. References are listed as comments under the blog article. You can also control who is permitted to post comments to your blog articles. For example, you can prevent spam by using a capture control or restrict comments to specific user groups. Now I click Save to add my article, and I can now see it listed in the dialog. Now, let's suppose I've added another article and that site visitors have read my articles and added their comments. I can delete some of these comments or even clear them all. To do this, I open the Manage Blog dialog again, select an article, and click Comments. And now I can delete selected comments for an article or clear all comments. 
And now if I preview my page in my browser, you can see that these comments are no longer displayed. And that's all there is to it. I hope this tutorial has demonstrated just how easy it is to add and manage blogs and blog articles and has encouraged you to create your own. Notice that I've also added a shout box to this page. For instructions on creating shout boxes, see the blogs and shout boxes tutorial.